Welcome back to another vlog. Currently just finished kind of getting ready. I need to change my outfit. But um, today we're going to do like kind of like a maintenance vlog. Um, I need to go get my hair done today and I want to try and get my nails done today. I literally have had these nails on since before my Disney World trip so they're super grown out and I also really really need a haircut. We're finally back in real time. Basically for like the past couple of weeks it's just been a bunch of like pre-filmed vlogs for you guys all the disney ones so i hope you guys enjoyed them i have been just working a ton i actually got sick last week um so that was great loved every second of that the weather has changed i love daylight savings we get more sunlight except today is like super gloomy which is really sad but yeah i need to go get my hair done my hair is like all the way down literally to like my bottom especially when it's straight so i want to cut it so it's like back to like up here which is like pretty short ish so that's what i'm thinking probably gonna like touch up the roots and stuff i need to figure out what i'm wearing but it's so cold so i'll be in leggings and a sweatshirt yep that's what we're doing <laughs> so much lighter um, and then I went and got lunch and now I'm gonna get my nails done in like 20 minutes so I stopped at a coffee shop then I spill latte with oat milk um, I'm at Mademoiselle Colette which is like one of my faves so so good so needed that get me through the rest of the day I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for my nails I think I want to do like French tip, but I kind of want to like add something to it. Like I just feel like French tip is just too simple. So I kind of saw like this photo, which I think is cute, with like a flower maybe. I'm really kind of thinking like this one. Like I think this is what I'm gonna end up going with. The little flowers and the rhinestones. I think that'll be so cute. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Like for spring, today's the first day of spring, so it's even better. from doing literally everything today. This is the hair, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. It's so much shorter, like my hair literally got down to here, you guys, it was so long. So we cut off a lot and I love it. I just feel like I always need to do like one big haircut, like at least one per year, one every other year. Um, and just like chop it all off because my hair grows back really fast, which I'm very fortunate that my hair does grow back really fast. I don't really like get scared about like cutting it off. Really cute. It's gonna be a lot easier to like work with, to style every day. It's not gonna take me so long and it's obviously not as dead anymore. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. She's cute. 
very cute got my bangs cut a little bit more as always i get my hair done with Gianna and Vanessa from Smoking Wheel in Palo Alto. I have a couple different locations. Gianna does my hair color, and then Vanessa does my haircuts, and they do such a great job every time. I'm always so happy with everything they do. For nails, I ended up just doing pink French tip. I don't even know how we ended up with this color, but the French tip color is the same as my toes, so it almost looks white. It's like a really light pink. Very simple and just like classic kind of nails. I was just like tired and I was like, I just wanna go home. So as quickly as I can get out of here as possible. I think I'm gonna edit. I need to edit the Disney Channel night vlog. And I kind of wanna go to Marshalls and Target tonight. So I might do that. We'll see, we'll see. I edited a ton. And then I was like, I need to come to Marshalls to take a break from editing. So here we are. Excited to show you what I'm finding. Look at how cute these Mickey necklaces are with little initials. I tried to find my initial, but they don't have any. But they also have this one, which is really cute. Why don't they have my initials? A's and M's. So I have these little like sets. I've never seen this necklace, but I feel like this is kind of fun to like layer. I love all the colors for like the summertime. And they also have like these matching hoops, which are cute. They have some Barbie stuff. These like little Van Cleef earrings. All right, you guys, how pretty is this? I have a necklace that's similar, but this one's like less chunky. And I feel like this would be really cute, like layered with this one for the summertime. That's so cute. And then I also found this necklace, which I feel like we've seen before, but it's really cute. Kind of looks like the Van Cleef earrings that I was showing earlier. And this little like bag, which I think is so cute for like the spring, summertime. And it's super small, but it's like a little wallet purse. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. The mugs. And aren't these like the cutest little mugs ever? <gasps> I love these. I don't know what I would do with them, but they're so pretty. I love. Also have these like Alice teapots, which I've never seen, but these are so cute. Okay, I'm in the clothes section and they have like these little kind of like Brandy Melville style tops. Um, this print and they also have this one which has little butterflies for ten dollars so cute i found another purse it's like this and i think it's so cute i'm not the biggest fan of this chain like i wish it was just pearls but i love the size of it i think it's gonna be so cute for summer but i can't decide if i like this one or the blue one more. The blue one has like little sparkles in it. I don't know. Which one's cute? I can't decide. Also, I found this little like alarm thing because as a girly pop, we can never be too safe in this world. So I'm gonna get one of these. Ten dollars. In the checkout line, they have this little Easter Japanese coffee. So cute. Target now and I really need to come in here to get another foundation shade because the one that I have is like way too light for my skin tone because I got the wrong one last time. I like the Milani foundation. I just need to figure out what shade I am. Probably like one of these. I think sand beige is usually the one I get. Or natural beige. <sighs> Oh, one beige, I don't even know. I just found these blushes, which I saw on Instagram. But, like, how cute are these? I kind of want to try. I've never tried this brand before, so I'm interested to see. I'm trying to figure out what shade I would get. Probably this one. Yeah, this one's really cute. I found these little, or these earrings, and they're... I wish they were smaller, but I think they're cute. Every time I come here, I always pick these up, and I never buy them. I think today's the day. They're so cute. And I'm also really liking these little pearl earrings. Ugh, the summer stuff is so cute. Look at those swimsuits. And I feel like this is cute, but I also feel like it's really ugly and I can't decide how I feel about it. 
Um, I also really liked this one with the seashells. I feel like that's really pretty. Not like I'm going anywhere. That's gonna require a swimsuit anytime soon, but you know, just browsing as we do. Okay, look at these sandals. These little flip flops. These are so cute for the beach. I need to go to the beach now. Why is this kind of cute? The little girl's t-shirt section. This one. one. I just wish it wasn't like hot pink. One that I really liked was this one. I just wish it wasn't a long sleeve. How cute is Mirabelle? The one I liked is this one. I just don't think I need it, but it's really cute. It is another day. I am currently getting ready because I'm going to go and take pictures, get some content with um, with Ray, who's been in the vlogs before. I uh, realized, because I was doing my makeup, that the foundation shade that I bought at Target, which is like the whole reason why I even went to Target in the first place, is the same exact shade that I already had. So it wasn't a darker shade, which is what I was going in for. It was like a darker shade. So and I need to return it and go get another one. But I wanted to try out some new makeup that I have. So the first thing is the Winky Lux um, Cheeky Rose Blush. Like, how beautiful is this packaging? Like, they really got me with that. And it was kind of expensive. It was $20 for this blush, which is, like, kind of wild for Target. Like, I don't... Is that, like, normal now? I don't know. But I just feel like this is the same price you can get something at Sephora. Maybe $5 more, and it would be a Sephora product. So, excited to see. I mean, the packaging is really nice. Like, I love the rose. And it feels like really heavy, like it feels a lot heavier than like my e.l.f. blushes. So, oh! What? I thought there was gonna be like an... Is it broken? There's like no... Like this is the applicator, I was not expecting that. Ooh, it's like soft. <gasps> Wait, it's like soft. It's squishy! <gasps> okay kind of fun that's pretty I mean it's this it's literally the same shade as the elf blush that I use every single day I'm gonna do a lot more because I need a lot of blush so it looks good in my photos today I don't know if you guys can tell but I think it's a pretty shade it blended really easily I mean I'm gonna put blush on top of it but I mean, that's kind of fun, and I love the packaging, so I guess it was worth the money. I have, like, three blushes in the same exact color. Um, I keep buying the same. I just have problems. <laughs> I think we already knew this. <laughs> you guys, it was recently added to the Too Faced PR package. It's truly been my favorite PR list to be on because I grew up loving Too Faced. Like, literally, my favorite makeup brand. Um, when I first started getting into makeup, Too Faced was always my favorite. I just felt like they had the most fun packaging and girly packaging and i had so many makeup palettes eyeshadow palettes even though i literally only wear one color on my eyelids i had every single palette that I ever created because i was obsessed with them their foundation so good their concealer so good so the fact that i was added to that pr list like literally a dream and i'm making my younger self so proud every time i get a package from them it truly feels like Christmas because I'm obsessed with Too Faced and so all that to say that is one package I do get excited about every time I see it on my doorstep. They sent over some new products. I don't know if they're like new new but they're new to me and I'm just really excited. I feel like this blush is just not as pigmented as I need it to be. So we're gonna add a bunch more. This new Born This Way Sunset Strip um eyeshadow palette i love the born this way natural news palette like that's one of my this one it's like one of my go-to palettes but this one is like literally the perfect summer palette because it's all neutral colors but they're warm toned and i personally am a huge fan of warm toned eyeshadow colors i feel like they just look better on my skin tone and like how pretty oh <gasps> I'm so excited and it does come with a mirror. It's really nice. They also set another blush, their Cloud Crush blush in the shade Tequila Sunset. It's like an orangey shade and I just think like that's so pretty for summertime. Even okay, 
here is the makeup. I'm gonna do like this goldy kind of color. Match like the bronzier look that we're doing today. I wanna try out the lip injection lip gloss in the shade on blast and i'm just obsessed with the packaging of these like how pretty are these i feel like i'm not gonna like the way this looks on me but i'm just gonna try it i mean it's not bad i just don't think i would normally choose like an orangey kind of shade like this this on top that is the finished makeup. I really love the way the eyes turned out. I feel like this is gonna be so pretty for the summertime. Just finished doing my hair and I put on my outfit for the day. So, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm wearing this white cardigan from Brandy. This lace top is actually also from Brandy. My denim skirt is a Princess Polly. I just got this bag actually from Marshalls and um it actually has like a little chain but i don't really like the chain so i want to try and find a way to remove it so until then i'm just gonna wear it like this it's like super small but like it fits my phone so yeah i ended up getting this bag wait i think i've i literally vlogged it yeah then i added this little keychain which is from bubble bar i'm also wearing the new little hoops um, that I got from Target. I'm also wearing some little Bubble Bar Easter Disney bracelets. I have the Mickey and the Mini one. This watch is actually from Urban Outfitters. And, you know, just like the everyday rings that I've been wearing a ton lately. So yeah, that is my outfit. I'm just wearing um, New Balances. I don't know if I want to keep it buttoned. I feel like I'm going to end up unbuttoning it. Like maybe that looks cuter. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go downtown. Text you back or whatever, oh, something okay, like yeah. that. We made it to our first location. It's so cute Ray here. Is here today. Hello. It's a little house. I don't know if it's like a home or if it's like a business. They've got all the windows closed. Yeah, but it's so cute and it's like in a little alleyway. It's really weird, honestly. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got some photos. We got blue bottle coffee. It's my sweet ice sweet latte. And I got an avocado toast because I realized I was a lot hungrier than I was. And I don't know why this hair keeps sticking out, but it's really bothering me. I am back home. We spent literally all day. It is now 3.30 and I have to leave soon to go to work. But I wanted to share with you guys um, some packages I got. The first package that I got was actually from Mercari and... I didn't even realize, like, I placed an offer for these Stony Clover scrunchies, and I didn't even realize that they accepted my offer, and then they showed up today, and I was like, oh, period. I have these two scrunchies, which I thought were so pretty. The same person was selling both, so I did, like, a little bundle offer. I had really wanted this pink one for a while, and then I saw that they had the white one as well so i was like oh my gosh so cute and i love the little pearls like how adorable i think i'm gonna use this one today just have it on my wrist the last package that i got was from my friend mikey he lives in southern california and i had asked him to pick up something from Disneyland. We finally shipped it and I actually saw this when I was at Disneyland, but they didn't even have my size. So I'm so glad that I asked him to get it when I did. So we have another Disney haul. I am so excited about this. So it is a pair of sweatpants and it says Disneyland with a little castle. How cute. I also love the little gold at the end of the like the the tie a matching sweatshirt looks like this and i would say it's more of like a peachy kind of color which i feel like is gonna look really good on my skin tone especially for the summertime i like sweatpants in the summer but you know i think it's so cute and i got this in a size large the material is like 
uh, I want to say terry cloth. It's not like fuzzy on the inside. So if you're looking for something to keep you warm, like I wouldn't say this one, but I feel like this would be a great sweatshirt for the summertime. Um, like at night. Thank you, Mikey, for picking it up for me. It is so cute. So I'm excited for that. Anyways, I need to leave and go to work because... We have to work okay and i wanted to finish up today's vlog and i honestly don't even remember the last thing i vlogged i don't even know what it was i don't even know when it was but it's fine we're just moving on i also feel like i'm gonna get questions on this top this is from shop cider may gave this to me because she had like extra clothes she was getting rid of and so i took this top and i think it's so cute but to end this vlog by answering your questions about disney world uh, last vlog i had you guys um ask me questions so let's go through them together first question that we have is what do you think are the rides you must ride at walt disney world so i personally like if i was going if you've only been to disneyland before if you're going to disney world i would say just skip all the rides that we already have like a lot of the rides that Disneyland has are better than the Disney World ones so I would personally just skip all of those I didn't do Splash Mountain on my most recent trip because it's closed and they're like redoing it and stuff but when I first did Splash Mountain on my first Walt Disney World trip that was way better than the Disneyland version so I'm really excited for the Tiana one I just so much the ride in general is a lot longer and there's a lot more scenery that goes on inside of the actual mountain that um disneyland doesn't have so i will say their splash mountain is way better another ride that's a must do say you have to do the safari in animal kingdom also need to do the pandora ride um that one's really really cool hollywood studio you need to do slinky dog dash it didn't get to do rock and roller coaster because that one's closed but i've heard that's a really good ride so i would probably recommend that one epcot you have to do guardians like that was I think the best Disney ride that's ever been created is the Guardians ride, Cosmic Rewind. You have to do that one. You need to do Frozen. I think you should do Ratatouille just for the vibes, but um, I don't think it's like an essential ride. I also think you need to do the Tron ride. That one is so cool. That's in Magic Kingdom. So those are my favorites. And Everest, uh, if you like roller coasters. So what are your Disney World Park rankings like favorite to least favorite? Okay. I feel like this is going to be kind of controversial. Number one, we have Animal Kingdom. That is for sure my favorite park. I think it's the best. Every single way possible. The food, the vibes, the rides, everything about it. Second favorite, I want to say Hollywood Studios. I really enjoyed Hollywood Studios. Even though it has less rides and you guys know I'm a ride girl, I just the overall vibe of Hollywood Studios, like the music that's played throughout the park, like I just feel like I am in like a movie essentially i don't know i feel like i'm in a huge movie set when i'm walking through it third favorite is magic kingdom My least favorite park is epcot i know a lot of people love 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 epcot my reasoning for it being at the bottom is i just feel like besides guardians like that guardians ride is just so good that i'm just like oh i wish it was like at a different park and like the moana area like i think is really cool but i think moana that moana area could have also been an animal kingdom and so like those two things are like really saving epcot for me i personally just don't think there's much to do there unless you drink and i don't drink so if you don't like drinking i feel like it's not not much is going on like it's really just like a bunch of photo ops like the world showcase is really cool to see like one time but it's not something that i'm like oh my gosh like i'm like obsessed with each little area like i don't know how to explain it but i just feel like if you're not drinking around the world then like it's not really that cool but i've heard epcot is better during a festival and i've never gone during a festival so i can't really say like i've heard flower and garden is great um the arts festival is really cool so unfortunately i've never been during a festival season so i don't really know but when it's not festival season i think it's at the bottom of my list someone said hi i'm going to Walt disney world in april any tips would help any breakfast recommendations um are there perks for people staying on property if you're going to disney world i 1020 percent recommend that you go 
and you stay on property. I think it really changed the game for me. It really feels like you're in a different world when you stay on property. It's the vibes. Like I'm very like... <laughs> You can tell like I love a vibe. I love a good vibe and it's the vibe of staying on property, going to the cafeteria to get like your breakfast. Everyone's getting breakfast. Everyone's so happy. You get on the skyline or you get on the bus or whatever to get to the park and then at the after your long park day you get back on the skyline or back on the bus and then you go back to your cafeteria to enjoy like a late night dinner. Just hang out before you head back up to your room like I just love the vibe of staying on property for an entire week like that. Like if you can like save a little extra to make that happen, I think it's a thousand percent worth it, especially if it's like a one-time thing for you and you're like, I'm only going to Disney World one time in my life. So I think you should just save the extra money to like make that part possible for you. I think it's complete game changer and it definitely changed my view on Disney World. Breakfast recommendations, um, I think Joffrey's Coffee if you like coffee. Um, I stayed at Pop Century and Pop Century had a cafeteria downstairs and so we would just get the breakfast that was there. They had like Mickey waffles, bacon, you know, just like classic American breakfast. Also had a Joffrey's downstairs. So I would recommend it just doing like the cafeteria that they have. I don't know. Obviously I've never stayed at the other resorts so like I have no idea what they're breakfast options are like um but I think if you just get it before you even get into the park I think that's best because honestly I didn't really find that many breakfast options I feel the same way for Disneyland like I feel like Disneyland doesn't have that many breakfast options either um so I personally would just recommend getting a breakfast at your resort other perk to staying on property is that you do get extra magic hours in the morning the reason why i didn't take advantage of them was because the friends that i was with like they don't get the extra hour because they technically weren't like like their name wasn't on the hotel if that makes sense so like they weren't staying there i don't know if that makes sense but like it just wouldn't work like it wouldn't let them in and so i obviously wanted to go with them that's one perk though so like if you just make sure that whoever is with you like you guys all link your ticket to the room then you guys get like an extra magic hour in the morning, which is really nice um, because there's less crowds. Someone asks, I would love to know the major differences between Disneyland and Disney World, like tickets, reservation, magic bands, lightning lanes, queues, Genie Plus, so just like the overall experience. Um, start with the tickets. So it's, I think in general are cheaper for Disney World than they are Disneyland, like price wise. I don't think it's much of a difference, but I think they are cheaper at Disneyland. You actually don't have to make a reservation, which is so nice. I think you do have to make a reservation if you are a a pass holder I don't know correct me if I'm wrong the website when I was buying my tickets I did buy my tickets like attached to my room um, and I did it that way but I didn't have to make any reservations which was really nice and I wish Disneyland would get rid of the reservation system because it's truly like the worst thing to ever exist I like change up your plans last minute you can you just don't have to like stress I don't know I just feel like the reservation system adds stress dining reservations I made my dining reservations the week before I left. It was super last minute. I didn't think I was going to make any reservations. I ended up doing it last minute just because I was like, if I'm going, like, might as well do all the food places that I really want to at least experience once. Who knows when I'll be back, you know? Did do that the week before. You know, like, the times weren't, like, super ideal. So if you're going to book, like, dining reservations, I would say just do it as early as you possibly can just so you can get like a time that like makes a lot of sense prime time cafe i think is what it was called um that day like i literally made it that morning like there's pretty open availability but i do think it depends on what time of year you go like i went in february which i've heard is the best time of year to go which is why i booked it then um and i also had a week off work which is why i went February is really nice one i got pretty lucky with the weather like there really wasn't any rain until that very last day um and two there's less people like Disneyland as well like if you go during February like there's no one at the parks it's so so nice and Magic Kingdom is so packed obviously like if you're gonna take a Disney World trip with like your family like Magic Kingdom is gonna be like your number one priority to see the castle and stuff there were so many people and it was because I went during that one week that I had off of work and I work at a school and so lots of schools had that week off. Plan around like school schedules and make sure that you, you're not going to the parks when kids are out of school because that's when the parks get more crowded. But parks like Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, like I feel like there was like no one there to be honest. So I think it depends on the park. 
um but yeah reservations were pretty easy to make in general magic bands at disney world are game changer i'm obsessed with it i wish magic bands had the same impact on disneyland like they do in disney world you can um pay for everything using your magic band you can get into your room with your magic band get into the park with your magic band which is so so nice it's so much more convenient however if you lose your magic band like i did um it does suck because I mean, someone could technically, like, if they found my magic band and they wanted to use it, they totally could. Luckily, though, I didn't have a debit card linked to my magic band. I know that you can, but I'm, for whatever reason, I never did, and I'm glad I didn't because I did lose it <laughs> for, like, a couple hours. That is one thing, is just like be careful of that that it doesn't fall off that you have it and it's like super secure i obviously just like wasn't really careful with mine so i just really love that you can open your room with it like i feel like that just like made my life so much easier than having to like stress about finding a room key i don't know about you guys but like i always lose room keys i'm like i don't know where it is having to remember your room key when you're leaving the hotel i always forget unless someone else is with me and like they have like an extra because I can I can never find it. It's always like buried at the bottom of my backpacks. I'm like sitting there digging through like it happens to me all the time on Disneyland trips. So I will say that's like the nicest like perk <laughs> is getting into your room key with a magic band. In general, I'm not a huge fan of lightning lanes. I just don't think in general that they're very, they're worth it to me. I did get lightning lane um, for Epcot but I only got to use like one ride. Like I only was able to book up one ride because all the other rides I really didn't care about. Um, you have to do virtual queue for Tron and you also need to do it for Guardians, Cosmic Rewind, which are like two big rides that like I would use Lightning Lane for. In general, I would just skip Lightning Lane. There was only like maybe one or two rides that I like really wanted to go on on at each park that required really long waits so like if you are waiting like in a line for an hour like it's really not the end of the world so like i would just suck it up for like that one ride but i will say i think it is worth it for magic kingdom especially if you've never been before you know like a lot of the magic kingdom rides i have already done at disneyland a million times over so I wasn't like dying to do them again like i would say get a lightning lane for magic kingdom specifically if you've never been to Disneyland or Magic Kingdom before. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, but that is it for today's vlog. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.